Also, Family Dollar issuing a voluntary recall to more than 400 stores across the Mid-South because of a salmonella risk. The recall does not apply to products shipped to the stores like frozen and refrigerated items, but to date, Family Dollar is not aware of any reports of illnesses related to that recall. If you did buy any of the items on your screen right now, though, just go ahead and throw them out. They include drugs, medical devices, cosmetics, dietary supplements, human and pet food. If you do have any questions regarding that recall, call Family Dollar Customer Service. That's 844-636-6787. Again, 844-636-7687. Excuse me, 7687. Well, we also now know Family Dollar employees will be paid for the time that they have missed work with stores being shut down, and this is why they've been shut down for so long. We got these pictures and videos from an employee at the center. You can just see huge rats climbing and eating the store's products, dead rats lying around the facility, all just really hard images to watch knowing people worked in those type of conditions. Our Brittany Clemens has been keeping up with this story and tells us when stores can reopen again. I'm standing at one of the family dollars in downtown Memphis that just reopened its doors yesterday. This store is one of at least two stores that reopened yesterday. Family dollars say that they are in the process of gradually reopening its doors. But this family dollar in particular is a new store. It opened right before family dollar had to shut down because of the rat infestation in West Memphis. They say this store was not impacted, which is why it's open right now. They say that they are gradually reopening stores across the city, but they haven't released a timeline on when all the stores will be open to customers. But if you take a look at your screen right now, you can see what Family Dollar warehouse workers had to deal with every day before the company shut down the warehouse. A 21 page report from the FDA exposes gruesome details inside the rodent infested Family Dollar warehouse. The FDA said more than 2300 live rodents were captured in the facility. And just in January of this year, a pest company removed over a thousand dead rats from the distribution center. The report also says the store has been aware of the rat problem since January of last year. Now, getting information from Family Dollar has been a slow process. I've been emailing the company every day since the store closed, but they have not got back to me into answering what they are doing to fix the problem and to make sure it doesn't happen again and how they plan to rebuild trust with the community. But as soon as I get more answers, so will you guys. Reporting, I'm Brittany Clements.